Uh, hi, everybody. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And we are finally getting into video 15. <laughs> I believe I'm at 15. Yeah. No, 16. Maybe I'm at 16. I think I might be at video 16. I need to double check. <laughs> I'm getting to, because I, oh, that's right. I have 14 and then I've done 15. So this is 16. Okay. Uh, of the week long challenge. It's a, just a week long challenge, guys. Just to let people know in the reaction community. I will still be making commentary on Tim, just not with the uh, rabid frequency that I'm doing this week. Um, and I wanted to thank Miss Vicky for giving uh, my channel a shout out and encouraging her viewers to come and take a look at this reaction. And she said that's, you know, she was heading people my way. And I really do appreciate um, such support from the community. We have a community here too, Tim. We have a community here. Anyway, let me put out my, and she's going to do her first ever like uh, retro live stream, um, like doing a retro react to a Tim video. So I think that's coming up this weekend. So look out for that. And I hope I'm going to be able to join it. But as we know, I'm making a lot of Tim content. So I have to catch a lot of stuff maybe on replay. Anyway, I got my coffee. I just did a nice big slurp like Tim. Because <laughs> I know people love it when he slurps. And I got my favorite little chocolate graham cookies. Just in case I need a nibble. Um, I've been having to make sure I eat uh, frequently because as we know, I'm on a fair amount of antibiotics. So if I look a little, you know, worse for the wear, it could possibly be for that. Okay, so here's my fair use. Obviously, we know that I am just reacting and making commentary to Tim's content that is for entertainment purposes only and nothing else. And even though I am a registered nurse licensed here in the United States and on my way to becoming a nurse practitioner, I am not treating or diagnosing the person that we are seeing in this video. <laughs> Somebody told me I talk too much. I'm like, I'm a commentary channel. <laughs> Hey, I promise you, I'm going to be losing my voice after a week of Tim. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> anyway, let's make me small. I have a feeling he may have gone off the deep end on this one as well. I know the SS one coming up, he definitely did. I was kind of, like I said, catching little bits and pieces of it as I was going about my day. And now my little puppy is fed and walked and snoring next to me. So that's very good. All right, Tim, he's like trolling. <laughs> you know, he's now making the joke about the refrigerator like a month too late. You know, you're late to the party, Tim. Keep your pants on, mate. Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim, Cowboy Tim, Tim Cup. I'm oh, gosh, I know. And then, you know, <laughs> not even the, name all the different names either. So, yeah. Okay, great way to start. Oh, your eyes look very... This is not, this is concerning, this this uh, edema around your eyes, um, Tim, just saying. Somebody this morning from the Crasher here in uh, Laughlin, Nevada, and I would like to introduce you to my uh, refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's got the best refrigerator of them all? <laughs> hey, uh, this morning, I'm out of here. I'm telling you right now. You're out of there. Uh, I, I, let's hear what he's up to. But that was his, his Tim's epic troll <laughs> to all the haters out there who are going to tell him to keep his pants on. You know, he's laughing out the fridge. It wasn't funny, Tim. I got to let you know, you being completely stalkers and having that, your phone like that pan around. You had it like in a different way too. You almost like had it in your hand or something. I don't know. You were holding it. You lingered far too long on the refrigerator's reflective surface for it just to be an accident. And then you left it up for far too long after people in your audience told you it was problematic. <sighs> oh, keep thinking I'm hitting the button. And now 113, no, 116, 185, whatever it is, anything over 105 or really 103, I'm done. Now, first, I want to introduce you to my new friend right here, Waken. Okay, I got this at Walmart. High caffeine. Woo, doggy. I uh, got myself a little half and half right here. Got my little Walmart coffee maker. That's a big jug of coffee. 
<laughs> he's made that for for a restaurant. <laughs> he's gonna be hopped up and elevated heart rate. And <laughs> don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of a coffee, but I have realized watching over time, I'm like, yeah, I need to cut back on on my coffee consumption because obviously working in healthcare. It seems to be part of the job description. <laughs> Look at that dark, bold, rich taste. Flavorful, man. I already had a cup this morning. And uh, when I tell you that that is good coffee, I mean, dang, that might be the best cup of coffee I've ever had in my life. It is. What a shocker. Uh, where, are the, where are the espresso beans? And uh, I feel bad because I should have brought out my... I'm a nurse, what's your superpower mug? Since Tim has his beard mug out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just drinking coffee like right there on camera. Well, I'm so Folks, this morning I was checking Tim the weather now. on my uh, phone. I was saying, hey, Siri, how much is, uh, I mean, what's the weather? What's the high? And I was checking here, uh, Kingman, Cedar City, St. George, Pahrump, Las Vegas, Boynton Beach. Checking the humidity levels. And then I Googled about humidity and they said, if you don't think humidity makes a difference, try sitting in a sauna for 10 minutes, then sitting in a steam room at the same temperature for 10 minutes. That's the best cup of coffee I've ever had in my life. That is good stuff. Well, I guess you don't need as much coffee donation. Honey, then. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoy your coffee, Tim, but I don't think you need to get any more hypered. <laughs> active this morning. I got this at Walmart. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't get cheap on us, Baker. I had to put them in a uh, plastic bag because mm. I tore the bag apart trying to get them out to eat them last night. Ugh. Coffee beans, just like um, a human bean. Oh, gosh. Hey, hey, look at this. I'm going to get three. Um, my recommendation would potentially be having known you were going to need the beans, unless you like the performative you could have just had them out ready to go and said, hey, look, I got my beans here. Rather than you have to, like, teeth open the bag. <laughs> this is rather undignified. Not that me slurping coffee a moment ago wasn't undignified either. <laughs> Three coffee beans. Mm, mm, mm. Then you drink your coffee. It just makes you want to drink your coffee down. Mm -mm. Mm, man. It's a little gimmick. At three a day, so. three times a day. <laughs> when I go to um, Human Bean, when I need a cup on the go, oh, that makes the best cup of coffee you ever drink in your life. I can uh, have my own beans. Wow, that's good. I'm gonna burn a little candle this morning. You say why? I'll tell you why. I got an issue with this camper. Mm -mm. My uh oh, I'm not an RV expert, but I know that people who are RV. I know Bertie the Explorer. I've watched his channel, and he certainly had some things to say about Tim's RV <laughs> etiquette. So, uh, this is going to be disastrous, isn't it? Okay, all right, Tim, fire it up. A long video. Gray tank and my black tank. You know, you have these accordion hoses that you hook up and you take it to the stinky linky and you pull the plunge and out comes the stuff. Now, the gray water is just sink water, shower water, soapy water, whatever food might have come off your plate down in there. I try not to put anything down there. Oh, that's good. How are you doing this morning, Miss Deb? Got the cup going on here. Um, I got a smell. You have what they call a pee trap under your sink. And I got one. You're not supposed to keep smells in your home, a camper, whatever, from coming back up. And somehow or another, when I turn the water on and the water runs through and, of course, opens the pee trap up because water's going through. It's not sitting in there blocking the odor. It allows water, smell, whatever's in there, this heat. This 115 degrees is heating up the ground down there and this, this smell. So I think what I can do to prevent it, first of all, I'll put some pine salt down there, is 
when I'm hooked up, when I was in Jacksonville. Is that the solution? Just dump pine salt? <laughs> Sounds like it's just masking a problem rather than solving a problem. Just saying. All right, I'm going to make this quick because um, he has a lot to say, and I don't want to make this video an hour. I have a bunch of those accordion hoses that because I have a front kitchen, I have two pull valve things. Most RVs have one back in the back where you have your black and your gray valve. But because I have a front kitchen camper, a badass camper, I mean, no other camper like this one, it has its own tank that holds its own gray water from the sink. And I'm just letting it sit in there and it's not just going right out because I don't have the hoses hooked up. Why don't you have your hoses hooked up, Baker? I am in a great spot because I have the view and all that. Let's take a look. Hot as Hades out there. Um, I got a great spot. All these right along here are good spots, except the 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 dump behind my camper over here is elevated. It's on the hill, and I'm down here. And like, who was thinking? So I didn't want to leave the valves open, and you know it doesn't go. So I have to go out there and pull the valve, disconnect the hose, then hold it up and let everything go down in. It's like, so I think because I'm holding water in here and not letting it just go and leaving it open all the time, which is what I always do with my gray in the shower as well. You know, sounds to me, if you have time to go golfing and swinging your golf clubs around, you got time to properly take care of that um, RV before it becomes real stanky. Okay. So, you know, how, how's Miss Tammy going to feel? She comes into a stank and you're just masking it with pine saw. I don't know much about RVs, but I'm sure people who do have a lot to say about this. And th th that's what I'm just saying. You have all this time to go spend time at the golf course, but you're not addressing the problem that you have in your camper, your RV. And my thoughts would be address that and then you get to go play golf. I mean, that's life, Tim. It's just very irresponsible. Never do that with your black tank. You leave that one closed until it's full. Then you plunge it so it all goes quickly. TMI? Well, that's because I'm all hopped up on this delicious coffee. That's the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. Anyway, folks, today I was checking the weather. I was laying in bed going, hey, Siri, what's the temperature? It's uh, this morning. It was 74 or 77 or something like that. 30 minutes from here in Kingman. Get rid of that notification. 30 minutes at 3,300 uh, feet altitude. Here, it was 84. It's going to be 116. To you know you can put your phone on focus so you don't get those notifications. Just, just give me a tip, Tim. Today, 103 there. Now, yesterday was 100. And it was very, very comfortable. <laughs> There is a heat wave coming through. Even Kingman is going to. Mm. So then I checked the low temperature this morning in Vegas. Here it was 84 at like 5 in the morning. Vegas, 77. Harump, 76. Kingman was 74. Cedar City, you ready? 59 degrees. Today's high in Cedar City, 95. Mm. Because it's this heat wave is coming through. Mm. Uh, but... Each morning, it's, I mean, I could get some walks in, man. I'm talking beautiful, cool, not chilly, but cool. 59, 60, 60. Well, I recommend you get out early and, and deal with your gray tank. Why aren't you dealing with the gray tank? Why are you spending 41 minutes telling us about things you need to do? Just burning time. <laughs> the reason why I'm running behind on making content responding to Tim is the fact that I have a life <laughs> and I'm not filming it <laughs> for content. <laughs> so I actually have to find the time. But anyway, I obviously set myself this challenge. It's my own misery. I understand. Five degrees <laughs> and you can't take a walk in that. That's unbelievable. So uh, three hours, three hours to Cedar City. St. George was about five degrees warmer. I guess Cedar City is about 6,000 foot altitude. So that's why it's twice as high as Kingman. All these places, folks, are right here that I can go to. And I was talking to somebody yesterday. I had a couple of subscribers stop by. I actually have a subscriber 
parked right next to me um, that uh, is from Florida. Mm. Uh, he lives in the villages, actually. Mm. Him and his wife, lovely guy, came over last night, knocked on the door, and uh, uh, knew that I was here and introduced himself. And also needed a little help with his internet. And I don't think we quite figured it out, but kind of halfway. You thought my techie experience could help him. Uh, anyway, super great guy. He's going to be here all week. I look forward to uh, talking. Uh, well, you know, you should let the uh, hotel know, the casino that, you know, was based off of your channel that he decided to go. <laughs> Somebody recommended in your comment section that maybe you should think about moving to the villages. <laughs> Look at him and his wife again a couple more times and uh, getting to know them a little bit better. He also no. gifted me a beautiful uh, golf shirt. Uh, oh, last no. night that uh, I have in here, and along with my Are other ten, uh, golf shirts that I just uh, bought. I can you, I how? <laughs> I always feel like that needs to be a sound bite if it worked out properly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <sighs> more golf shirts. Uh, more stuff that Tim's being gifted by people. Mm, very interesting. <laughs> he, gets, oh, he loves it. Loves the attention. In fact, I'm going to share that with you in just a minute when I turn the camera around. I got me some get-ups, baby. I'm going to be looking good on the golf course, whether I hit the ball straight or not. But yesterday, when I hit the ball, I was doing really good. Back to being here in Laughlin. I'm out of here. But I'm not moving. I'm not leaving. I am out of here today. I'm going 30 minutes away is all to beautiful weather. Well, it's going to be 103. But let me tell you, that ain't 116, baby. Mm. Please don't put another golf video. When I talk one. about <laughs> Bullhead City, Laughlin, it's really Bullhead City that I, that I love, you know, right across the river <laughs> in Arizona. I'm an Arizonan, baby. I love it. I've been to Lake Havasu. It's wonderful, you know, beautiful lake. The water gets much warmer. You can swim in it and stuff like that. Where the water here on the river is 55 degrees, you're not going to get in that, even in the summer. No, but you can play with it, you know, chilly. the boats, the jet skis. But Bullhead City with State Road 95 that goes oh, straight man. down, everything you're looking for, you don't have to, like, get direction. You just drive down 95 straight. I cannot believe if we got 30 more minutes. And just interrupting for the sake of, obviously, fair use. Uh, transformation of his content. Now you know why I have cookies and coffee because <laughs> yes, it's my fault. I'm going to try to start earlier tomorrow. I uh, don't have any errands so far. Uh, the thing with the nose was not planned this week. <laughs> it was supposed to be done with. Or, you know, I think six, seven miles is the most. And everything you need, everything you need is right there. There is no side streets. There are, but I mean, those are residential and golf courses and a few things, but all the commercial, all the business is right down 95, starting right here, starting with the McDonald's and going right on down to a uh, Walmart at uh, <laughs> Orioles Mexican restaurant. Then after that, you go through a little. I believe it's McDonald's. <laughs> I think the way you pronounce it can be irritating for people and they don't know if you're trolling them or not. I'm just saying, Tim. No man's land for about <laughs> a half a mile. And you go up this hill, and now you're in Fort Mojave. That's when you approach uh, some more stuff, and another Smith's, and a Target, and... If it was McDonald's, the way you're pronouncing it, it would be M-A-C, and then Donald's. <laughs> Rather than the M-C, which is McDonald's. There's no A there. Just saying. Everything. <laughs> I lived in Scotland. Now, what it blows here is, in the summer... It's you're, you're on you're on the sun. You're on the surface of the sun. It's too hot. It is too hot. June, July and August. You got to get out of here. But guess what? If you can't afford to get out of here, you don't want to get out of here. You got a prison job and you got to hang out here. All you have to do is go right up here to Kingman mm. or Cedar. You don't have to drive to, to Montana or Oregon. That is just the rudest thing to say. You just it's I. Every time I hear him say it, I'm just shocked that of the, his audacity. I can't wait to get to the Social Security one because we've got some, you know, there's a lot of people that have been, you know, talking about that. I would love to get a Social Security expert to react to his video and actually let me know what they think of it. 
I would love to get Ed, Dr. Ed Weir on a panel on StreamYard <laughs> reacting to, to Tim's SS videos. I, I, I beg for your help, Dr. Weir, because I think you're the only person who could potentially end this uh, insanity. And I, I, was, I was supposed to put a link to one of his um, channel, and I apologize, guys. I get tired. <laughs> in, to get in some cooler weather, you can go to California right over here. You can go to Lake Elsinore. You can go so many places that, I mean, even Vegas, even though it's burning up hot in the summer as well, it's not even really a fair comparison. It's 2,500 feet. This is 500 feet above sea level. And it's kind of like Death Valley. But when I tell you when the winter comes and Kingman and Flagstaff and Williams are covered up with snow and Cedar City and all them places are too cold, this is the place to be nine months of the year. I think I saw like 40s or whatever, 48 or something is like the lows, which warms up to a beautiful 60s and 70s in the summer and then no humidity. Oh, my gosh. Perfect humidity. I Googled it is 30 to 60, 30 to 40 percent. It's like 20s right now. It gets in the single digits, teens. It gets pretty dry. We have to use lotion. But perfect humidity is 30 to 40 percent. I Googled. And um, currently the temp the humidity this morning in Boynton Beach is 85 percent. Folks, you can't believe a damn thing I say, but I'm going to tell you right now, I want nothing to do with humidity again. Once you come out here and I know a lot of you in the comments say, oh, I miss the palm trees, the beaches, the water, the greenery. And I love that, too. I really do. I mean, I like it all. You know, I like it all. I'm a it's funny because so many people are obviously retired to Florida <laughs> and the humidity is something to be felt it will make a reasonably hot summer's day well a hot summer's day into a very hot summer's day if you have high humidity <laughs> so i'm enjoying the warmer days and hotter days here in virginia um but i understand but it's funny because so many people are obviously retired to florida um and he's escaping it and there are some benefits i understand from these uh, more um, arid climates, especially if you're people who suffer from allergies, the areas that are humid can be very prone. Virginia, for example, is probably, well, is actually listed as probably the worst state for allergies in the United States, believe it or not. It just has the ragweed. So if I often sound congested, there's just 20, 365 days a year of allergies. Eclectic. But I love the look of these mountains with no trees on them. I love the look of the desert, especially around these golf courses with the contrast. And I love it when I see a, um, you know, a big exit with all the good stuff in it, but it's not like traffic in Palm Beach County or traffic in California or LA, you know, all that kind of stuff. I love it when you don't have Houston traffic and people. This is so perfect here. You lived in Houston? And what really makes it good is what people forget. And you have so much around here, you don't even need to leave. But if you want to go somewhere, like in South Florida, if I want to go somewhere, let's say the North Georgia mountains. Well, I got to drive all darn day just to get to the top of Florida because I'm down at the bottom. Just to get out of Florida. Same way in Texas. If you live in Southern Texas, you know, or you live in California, you wanted to go out east, you got to cross all the way across Texas and all them other, uh, you know, Alabamas and Louisianas and Mississippis and all that just to get to here. You can go to Utah, Oregon, Nevada, you know, Grand Canyons right here. You can go to beautiful. Well, I don't know. There's certain parts of Virginia that touch on to multiple states like Tennessee, North Carolina, obviously D.C., West Virginia. It then crosses into parts where, you know, in the eastern shore touches into where it starts to Maryland. So I don't see where this is new. <laughs> and those are the ones, you know, that's just here in Virginia. So I don't know what you're talking about, Tim. And I can let you know, it took, I drove from South Carolina. I was in Rock Hill to Palm Beach, Florida. Is that right? Palm Beach? Oh, Somewhere like that. It was uh, near St. Augustine's, I want to say. So wherever, Palm, Palm, uh, it, don't kill me, Floridians. <laughs> I just, I'm getting forgetful. But anyway, I think it took me 10 hours. 
wasn't that long. I mean, it took a while, but it wasn't terrible. It took longer because it was holiday traffic for Christmas. <laughs> well, um, you put this candle out. You can go to beautiful um, Prescott and all these wonderful places in uh, uh, in Utah. You know, Hurricane and Moab and Salt Lake City and that's a big city. Uh, Provo. You can go to Vegas, baby. Vegas. Uh, you want to visit California, Southern California? You want to go down to Lake Havasu? You want to hit uh, Tucson? You want to, I mean, Albuquerque? You can go so many places in our country that I haven't been able to go to because think about how far any of those places would be from Boynton Beach. You'd have to get on an airplane <laughs> because you're not going to drive if you have a prison job. And if you're retired, you're going to need something to stay in because otherwise you're going to need to pay for hotels and need a, uh, you know, a lot of time uh, to get out here. But when you're here and you make this your there are a lot of people who have remote jobs, Tim, and who travel in vehicles similar to the one you're stood in, or sorry, RVs. Aren't they recreational vehicles, though? Isn't that kind of what an RV stands for? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. But I know that there were a lot of people doing that, especially during the pandemic. So you're acting like all brand new. <laughs> I keep saying that. But I mean, there are plenty of people that have, sorry, what you would consider prison jobs, but a remote working job. Sorry, my nose is it's being a little insane at the moment. Um, uh, have these supposed prison jobs. So they actually will work remotely. So they could be in the situation. I mean, you're cranking out so many videos and talking for 41 minutes. You've put in a full work day here too. YouTube is kind of like your prison job <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Have you ever thought of that? Just because you're filming, you making a coffee doesn't mean that it's, you know, not exhausting watching your content. <laughs> you're home. You've got all the things that were just mentioned, the weather, the low humidity, the geographical location, and the secrets out, folks. I'm letting the secret out. Somebody let it out before me. I cannot believe... Yesterday, I was disparaging to a degree. I was in the rough side of Kingman. And even when I, people have been telling me about Kingman while I've been here for over a month. And I'm like, Kingman, Kingman, I don't know. What's that name? I can't get past it. I can't get my head wrapped around it. That's an inside joke. Uh, I just thought it was like a, I don't know, country bumpkin town or something. And I get over there and I went to a couple of these RV parks, which are in the country bumpkin area. <laughs> they were not nice. They were not big and spacious like, you know, this resort I'm in right here. And I said, Tim, I understand you were born in Alabama. I just think, and, and I was born here in the South, here in Virginia, head of the Confederate States. I hate to say it for my ancestry. <laughs> um, but, you know, um, to make this sort of, you know, oh, that's a perfect face for you. Look at that. that oh, that should be my thumbnail face. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I feel like I've already made the thumbnail, but I need to capture this because that's perfect. Okay. Um, they, uh, that's kind of rude, you know, calling people um, who come from country bumpkins. I mean, what? Talk about kindness and not doing all these things. You had a whole video about it on crushing for Christ this morning. And you're talking in such a disparaging manner about people who live in rural areas. You know, they're making a lot of assumptions. I keep using this word. I just was looking to move to a rural area because I'd love to have a slower pace of life. And the town did not work out for me. It wasn't as rural as I hoped it was going to be. It was actually more industrialized than this city almost that I live in, which I found surprising. So, um, yeah, mm, just, just, you know, you're going to turn your subscribers off, you know, that aren't part of the cult yet. Oh, Kingman, no good. Then I, I said, well, I did see a golf course on I-40. Let me go play golf. I brought my clubs. They're always in the truck. And uh, let me turn this air on. It's going to be 116. It's already hot in this box. Why is it not on? Woo. Man, I got you. That window's killing me. This coffee's running through me. Yes, I can tell. Oh. You're very hyper. So I get over to the golf course, and then you saw a couple of little video clips. I wasn't able to video myself. I didn't have anybody videoing me. I didn't want to wear you out on, you know, here's my next shot. 
I was just showing you some of the houses and telling you what I was doing on the course. That course was an unbelievably beautiful green. And I saw those homes. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Take back what I said. The development, just like in Bullhead City, they got some, they got some areas that spin around. But you got to understand a few years ago before the secret was out and the housing boom, places like Bullhead City, Kingman, and all these places, they were just cowboy towns. They were just little ghost, well, not ghost towns, but just little towns that were very, very cheap, very little jobs, very low wages, probably. And then what happened? People discovered all the attributes, the Colorado River, the low humidity, the beautiful scenery, the great weather, majority of the year. Did you think that technology might also play a part in that? Because as, as I've kind of said and explained, there's a lot of people who are able to work remotely and then maybe they have to go to their corporate offices a couple of times a year. A lot of computer programmers and such may work from home. I know a lot of people who do that. Computing, a, a lot of them work from home. So there, it's very easy with the advances in technology to choose places that you would prefer to live rather than having to, you know, necessarily be where the corporate office or whichever location you're connected with, with the business. So that has allowed for more flexibility for people. And then as the towns grow and more businesses grow, obviously there's going to be more of a population. Oh, Tim, you just seem like you're not very thinking about, you know, what changes in the world. It's just not moving with the times. I try not to, you know, you're only 10 years older than me, but you sound like you're a world away. I mean, I guess I grew up more with technology because I was a kid, but oh my goodness. All right, keep going. And they're like, the billionaires came here with their big money and developed and bought everything up, all the land, put all these beautiful homes in. And the only thing I can say that's a positive here is versus the development that they do in Palm Beach County, and all around there where everything, everything is a million dollars. I mean, they don't make any houses there for under $500,000. They do not build any houses like that. They're all two-story, three-story mansions, McMansions. Here, I did see, I'm seeing more and more very expensive ones, but I do see plentiful, plentiful amount of homes that are three twos with two cars. And even though these houses are overvalued as everything is today, they would be $250,000 more in California or Florida. And so in a way, they're a good value, but they're still expensive. But they're brand new. $350, $450, you can buy even threes. You can buy all the home anyone needs. Brand new. Oh, my goodness, Tim. Well, you would have been having a halt attack then back in 2018, 2017. Maybe it was 2016. 2016, 2017. I saw brand new homes and in, in developments just outside Charlotte, North Carolina. Brand new, everything it was you know big garage bedrooms. I can't remember. I think it was three bedrooms. It was like two hundred and eighty thousand. You've been having a heart attack. It, supposedly it was on the wrong line for the schools. Shoot, I was looking at that house and <laughs> trying to figure out how I could turn my travel nursing into an LLC and buy the property and rent it to myself. <laughs> I was really determined to figure that one out. <laughs> and I was like, well, then I can have a house and still work as a travel nurse because I'm outside of my state. <laughs> anyway. Here. Didn't work And out. they're throwing them up as fast as they can right on these golf courses. And they're making, they're making these subdivisions too. And it just looks to me, you guys remember the show Knott's Landing back in the day? They lived on a cul-de-sac. They had the California-style houses. Oh. I used to live in California. you know. And I look at homes, hmm. and I say, that looks like California. You know, that barrel tile roof, the stucco finish. I'm curious when he lived in California. Does anybody know? Was it his younger years? Or his older years? How did he end up in Florida from Alabama? Hmm. He seems to have definitely moved from state to state. You know, he's not. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just interesting that he's still kind of moving around. I've been in Virginia forever. <laughs> I went out of state for a little bit. And I, you know, even with the jet noise, this is home. <laughs> the adobe look, the, the Spanish style, the, you know, it just looks, it just, it's like looking at a sports car to me. I love looking at these homes. And when you go to Florida, you see the same thing. Drug dealer. <laughs> I mean, they do. They look like uh, 
super, super expensive Key West. I don't mean drug dealer, but I mean no, you over the top, ostentatious, you know, multi-millionaire home. Just, just crazy. Yeah, because that's Florida balling, Tim. You know that. That's Florida balling. And if you can't keep up Florida balling style, then you need to be out more in the countryside, the rural areas of Florida, where they're a little bit more low-key then. I don't know where you think you're going to get the credit to get these these homes that are so expensive along a golf course. They're not going to take that 1700 Social Security benefit. And definitely the Google AdSense is not going to be counting as income you would have to literally put the money aside and go in with cash crazy just crazy Same. they're all over the place they're all over the place they don't build they don't want to put anything on the land in florida that isn't a million dollars it's a waste of their time they would never think about putting an affordable house on a nice piece of property in <laughs> south florida <laughs> now you go to jacksonville and some of these places in the middle of the state uh, even port st Lucie, they're building some pretty big homes but you're not in south florida baby when you live in Jacksonville, let me tell you, I'll tell you right now, I'd never live there again. <laughs> I, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. But there's no, if you're going to live in Florida, you got to drive forever, unless you live on the beach, to get to the beach. And it's the largest city in the country. So most people don't live on the beach. They got to drive. And it's, uh, it's a drive. And it's not like South Florida where everything is pretty much right on the coast. Even if you live inland, it's just straight over, you know, 10 minutes and you're at the beach. So... Florida has only got the West Coast. Mm. It's geography, Tim. <laughs> Just like, I don't even think half of what he's saying is factual. The, I can promise you Virginia Beach is considered the largest resort city in the world. And that's because its actual geographic uh, area is huge. So you could be driving um, parts of Virginia will really take you into sort of Virginia Beach. You'll get into some very rural areas right up on the North Carolina border, very far from where I live. I mean, I used to have to do that for work, travel as a case manager um, in healthcare, obviously. <laughs> and I remember doing those drives and, and they were pretty far from the beach, even Sandbridge, which would be probably their closest one. Which is, which is very yeah. lovely, like Sarasota and Fort Myers and places, but that got wiped out on the hurricane. And then you've got the East Coast, and all you got is Palm Beach County because you don't want anything to do unless you live on the ocean and you're a millionaire. Anything to do with Broward and Dade County. That is the most clustered, compact, multi-million dollar, not, not dollar, multi-millions of people, traffic jams. Oh, my goodness. D Broward County. Look where my son lives down there in Los Olas Boulevard. You can't even have a car. You're not getting anywhere. And so after all of that, we're yeah. hopped up, man. This coffee. We're, we're in See, I lived in London and I lived in Mexico City for seven years, okay? So I want I want you to talk to me about traffic. <laughs> if you never experienced 1990s Mexico City traffic, you've never experienced... It's LA style, okay? And the population is huge. The traffic was wild. I don't... I mean, sometimes the traffic's getting heavier here in Virginia Beach, I've noticed. And today it was very heavy at like 2.30 when I was trying to get home. I was like, what is going on? I guess people are starting to come down for vacations. <laughs> get it at Walmart right there. Uh, it definitely has got some caffeine in it. To get a uh, and get you these two. They're eight bucks. You get the triple uh, mm -hmm. color with the blonde, be the blonde beans in there like human bean has. <laughs> but after living in Florida all those years, and moving back to Florida from Georgia, from California, uh, when I was married and younger, multiple times. I would. Why do I feel like this is just a stream of consciousness being delivered by Tim? And if anybody is familiar with the works of Virginia Woolf or James Joyce or any of the great stream of consciousness, Virgin yes, I said that, uh, consciousness writers, then uh, try to tackle Ulysses because it's not anything different from, oh my God, the Tam. Oh my goodness. I mean, he just, uh, just, we're just listening to his stream of consciousness for 41 minutes. <sighs> oh, okay. I went to high school there. <laughs> just I'm done. Life. I'm all done. I'm retired now. And I haven't even seen, I mean, I might fall in love with Colorado. 
how are you retired and pumping out like 15 YouTube videos a day? It feels like work to me. <laughs> my voice is going. I'm drinking coffee in the middle of the night. <laughs> I might fall in love with Idaho. Why get delirious. I played golf yesterday with a guy from uh, Laramie. But I know I won't want to be uh, permanently in anything north of here. You know why? Because it's going to be the same thing as Atlanta, Georgia. What? While there's plenty of jobs there. Yes. Uh, for people that have prison jobs. Oh, good. A lot, you can earn well in Atlanta. <sighs> Nine months a year is cold. And it don't have to snow to be cold. Cold is cold. So I want nothing to do with that. I want nothing to do with Colorado or Idaho or any places where other than the summer, you can't inhabit there. Just like here, you can't inhabit here uh, in the summer. Uh, you know, there are people who actually work in the prison system. And just to be saying about the fact that people have prison jobs just shows the lack of understanding about f flexibility in the workplace. Often, depending on what you do, I mean, you people, what do you, you are so out there and you, you give terrible advice, uh, as we'll see very soon. Summer, no, in the winter, I meant to say, you know, I'm hopped up, baby. Yeah. And I'm going to Kingman today. I'm going to play some consciousness. Golf. I'm going to stay there all day. There's a Planet Fitness there. I'll hit the gym. I'll, I'll be in the air conditioning. I'll go walk around Walmart. I'll do whatever I want to do, but I'm not going to be here. 116 degrees, not till that sun goes down. I won't come back. And I don't have to burn gas. I don't have to hook up my trailer. I don't have to go pay a high price at another campground in uh, Cedar, Senior City or anywhere else until I'm ready to leave out of here. This is 200 bucks a week. 220, 219.94 with electric, with a swimming pool, with all these stuff that I love. Because the casinos want you there because they're hoping you're going to go inside and gamble. There's reasons why they're less expensive around a casino resort because they are going to hopefully bring you in to lose money at the casinos. You know, they're not, they're not really trying to cater to you, Tim, as a, as a general tourist there, but they're stuck with you and your cheap ways. <laughs> not that I'm not frugal. As I've said, I'm pretty frugal, but Tim is, is it? Uh, I, it? I just felt like no, this. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, Tim, we know what that is. Goodness me. It just feels like every time he talks about money. <laughs> this is my home, Bullhead City, baby. Oh, it's okay, baby. And um, Vegas, baby. Vegas is right up here, up the street. And, uh, my poor dog is hearing Tim's voice and having a nightmare. It's okay, June. June bug, it's okay. She was so comfortable. Now she's having a little... Those golf little horses little that are in St. George, I've heard nothing oh, but positive about all these golf horses that I can go to. You know, I could take my camper yeah. if I lived here. I could drag it up there and stay for like three days. I don't have to get a hotel room. I can golf, 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 you know, and have this. I mean, oh, that's a great idea right there. I just came up with it. Um, Safety's RV parks. Find one up there that's reasonable for like a week, get a weekly rate, you know, then bring my butt back here and live, hit the gym, get in shape. When the weather gets good after the fall comes back, you know, take my walks and do these hikes and uh, go see the mountains and go back to Oatman and see the wild donkeys. Uh, take a trip back down to Lake Hi Havasu. Go visit the Grand Canyon. Wear that place out. It looks different every time you look at it. I was telling. Uh, you are acting extremely, I mean, I have you sped up to 1.25, so I always do want to preface that. So I'm kind of not listening to him at his normal tone, but it just seems like you are all over the place with your thoughts at this moment, Tim, just really all over the place. Um, I don't know what you're trying to figure out. A lot of stuff about where to go next. I feel like you feel like you've worn your war worn your welcome out in Florida somehow. And I forget you're not necessarily originally from Florida. So I don't know what sort of ties you have in the States there and how long you've been in Florida. Um, Cause you talked about now living in California and I understand you're originally from Alabama. So I have no idea. <laughs> Anyone knows comment down below. Wayne yesterday that I played golf with that every corner you turn, these mountains have it take a whole new look. Every, you know, when you drive through them, when you go to a Kingman, you're talking about a beautiful ride for 40 minutes. 
you want to drive over there because you want to see that view again. It's just amazing. And when you come back, you can see the Colorado River and this big open mesa and the, and the, uh, uh, the casinos behind me here, the uh, riverside. You can see them up in the mountains as you're coming down. And it's a beautiful four lane. Uh, I just put it on 50 miles an hour yesterday with cruise control. And I'm coming down and uh, my truck holds the speed at 50. It's got that automatic feature. It doesn't go any faster and it won't go any. I always laugh that somebody said I talk a lot and I'm a commentary channel. And yet I'm commenting and reacting on somebody who's talking like just a massively long monologue <laughs> slash diatribe for uh, 41 minutes because he's got nothing else to do until he gets to the golf course. So I know there's going to be, I know I have, there's going to be more videos, but he's getting some more view time today um, because he's getting out some long form content. Goodness me. Oh, I guess this is... <laughs> slower and i'm coming no, down just 50 so miles an hour i think it's a six six percent grade eight percent grade hmm. and i come around the corner and i see this and those mountains they have no trees on them they have those edges those those define the silhouette that it's just amazing to me it's just amazing i can't get enough of looking at it and i would miss it so much if i wasn't here i'd be thinking about it all the time you know thinking about florida and i'm not trying to knock florida folks i'll go back to florida i'll see florida um, it's just flat. It's just flat. It's just green everywhere. It's palm trees and it's beautiful. There's sod everywhere. Everybody's got a good, beautiful green yard. There's no dirt. There's no rocks. There's no lack of trees, pine trees, palm trees. Florida has the most amazing geographical phenomenon with the Everglades. I mean, the Everglades are something, and I've never been able to obviously, uh, I don't think I've ever really been there. I've been to, I don't know if Miami been to Miami uh, Beach, actually there, and obviously to this, I think it was Palm Beach, and I lived in Key West as a child, but I don't remember. I was a baby. Um, and I've obviously been to Orlando, <laughs> who hasn't, twice. Um, so I have limited but some experience of Florida, but I do know that the Everglades are considered an absolute beautiful wonder. So... <laughs> And obviously Key West and all of these places. So I, I know that Florida is not, it's the panhandle, okay? It's just different. There's no lack. It rains so much, they get, it's stuff grows there. And the mosquitoes Beautiful grow Florida. there too. Yeah, <laughs> big. What it is. So anyway, yeah, 116 degrees is too hot. And I have discovered a way now, thanks to the good. I'm just thinking, I stayed at the Hilton Fontainebleau back in, oh gosh, the early 90s, I want to say. Oh no, late 90s. God, it was right after Gianni Versace had been murdered. I always have these wild stories. But I remember walking along that sort of wooden boardwalk that they had that goes along the beach right there in front of the, the Fontainebleau. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I was there for a work event. You know, those prison jobs, that they send you, uh, you know, to the Hilton Fontainebleau and pay for absolutely everything and take you out to nightclubs and restaurants and pay for dinners at Gloria Stebbins' restaurant that she had in Miami. I don't know if it's still there, but I got to drink mojitos and have fantastic food. And it was all paid for by that prison job I worked for. And then because they felt we had done so well at the conference, because we were there for a conference, where we also got, you know, so we were there for education while we got to stay at the Hilton Fontainebleau and have our, <laughs> our events at one of the nicest hotels in Miami Beach. Yeah, those prison jobs, they're real terrible. <laughs> oh, and they, they paid for us to go out on the, on the town in South Beach too. And they paid, they let us stay an extra night because I was living in Mexico at the time. I was working for a publishing company and that prison job paid for us after the uh, sales conference was completed. They let us stay an extra night paid for. And I got a room by myself in the Hilton Fontainebleau and got to go out on the town paid for by that prison job. So, yeah, prison jobs suck, man. Good Lord. <laughs> that I don't have to leave this wonderful deal I've got here. You know, um, <laughs> two twenty a week and I'm close to Vegas. I can pick up Miss T when she flies in. And then we can do something else when she gets here and, and go see these other places. And uh, unfortunately, when she gets here, you know, it's going to be an, an oven and uh, she probably won't be able to wait. And neither will I to get the heck out of Dodge. But I wish it was nice so that she could mm. fall in love with it, you know, and maybe want to 
be here. So I don't know. There's prison jobs too. Now I'm thinking about it because you need to probably get your eyes better cared for. Um, is that the optical plans are usually very reasonable and you get great benefits. I have to say that the prison jobs, optical plans and dental plans, all of these things, the healthcare a little overpriced, but the others are reasonable and they're great benefits. <sighs> Always talking about the prison jobs. Yeah, well, they keep people happy and healthy often. You're very jealous and envious, in my opinion, on that. I don't know why you have to downgrade. We're uh, we're different in our thinking on that. Tweed. So, uh, but my heart is here, uh, or out west, <laughs> and and not to the north because I don't want to make that a home or a home base because it's going to be cold. They're going to get snow. They're going to be. I don't want cold. I don't do cold. No cold. So and no excessive heat. But 100 degrees here is nothing. Well, nothing. Then I guess you're going to have to I mean, move to California. <laughs> Because that's why people live in California. It's because they have very temperate weather. It's never too hot, never too cold. That's why people love LA. That's why it's so populated. That's why California was so popular, because it had such great climate. <laughs> Maybe it's dry. So uh, on that note, uh, I'll show you my, um, my get-ups that I bought at Walmart yesterday. I'm wearing one now. Mm. And I bought some new uh, golf shorts, different colors. And um, I'm golf, baby, golf. I'm a golfer. <laughs> Man, that coffee's good. That's the best cup of coffee you'll ever drink in your life. Where is it? And these beans. Get you these beans at Walmart. More How about that Walmart yesterday? Oh, beans. Came, can you believe it? I, every pair of pants was folded. I mean, like you're in Bloomingdale's or something. <gasps> and everybody there was so nice. They all do their job. <laughs> they all know what they're supposed to do. The I think there's varying opinions of this uh <laughs> Walmart that you visited in Kingman. I don't know which, I, I don't know how many Walmarts they have, but it would be interesting to see what reviews they have for the store. <laughs> Google gets wild. <laughs> it's reviews sometimes. <laughs> the people are another thing, folks. You have different cultures in this country. Oh, really? You know? I'm not going to sit here and pros and cons or say anything. Back well, they were singing about that back in the day. On the, like, I like to make the world to sing, you know, perfect harmony and all that stuff back in the 70s, man. It was everywhere. I think there was a very, very famous Coca-Cola commercial. What are you talking about? Gosh, Tim, all brand new out here again. My goodness. <laughs> like, just kind of forgetting about the history of the United States and how it's a nation of immigrants. <laughs> Also, on top of the poor Native Americans, they were here, obviously. Uh, it's complicated history, Tim. But I think this is making you sound like, although you're 10 years older than me, that you were um, brought up in the 1950s rather than the 1980s. Or Sorry, I should say probably in the 60s. So you would have been born in 59, comparatively. So you were like right on the cusp of the 60s. So you were brought up in the 60s. You really, and I was a kid of the 70s more in the 80s. I don't know. You seem so old school. It can't be possible. Bad, because you got good, bad, beautiful, not so beautiful people everywhere. You know, you got bad drivers right here in Bullhead City. You got bad drivers in LA. You got a mix of everything, but you got less of it. And if you go to the Walmart, any Walmart in Palm Beach County, Number one, you can't push your buggy down the cart down the aisles without running into somebody because there's so many people in there and nobody cares. They want to look at something. They take it off the shelf and, you know, and leave it there. And it's just unfolded and, and they'll carry it around. Like, I don't want this. And they'll leave it somewhere else. And the size that you need is over in the potato chips instead of from the pants section. I mean, it's a rummage. It looks like a, a swap meet. It is a disaster. The people that work there probably can't even keep up with it. They're probably like, I give up. And... A lot of people that work there don't care. They don't even care. And the management, it's all sorts of the management. You know, it's a shame that you, you know, people get an idea about Walmart. And they say, I don't go to Walmart because of the kinds of people. I wish you would care about your content more, Tim, because this is boring. <laughs> I mean, this is to you just a monologue. <sighs> Complaining and moaning and groaning about stuff. God, don't you, you talk about positivity. But I don't feel very positive listening to this morning chat. It's just you 
sounding off about all your complaints and then you've got people who are watching it including me <laughs> people that go there or i have to busy say for or, myself you know, do you know what i mean i'm giving him premium that. youtube money you wouldn't think that if you went to the one in kingman even the one here and boy i said it's beautiful too i mean it's just the same uh, the only thing is my deli here is out of business because they're remodeling it and i found some wonderful get-ups let me go show them to you now I'll turn the camera around and then we'll end this video but folks i'm gonna get out there today bring you some more content i'll show you around kingman uh, and um, we'll get to the uh, Planet Fitness later. You probably won't go in there with me, but we'll see. Uh, and I hope to hit that. Uh, what is it called? Can you not film when people are trying to work out at the gym? That's just so rude. I can't think of not the name of that golf course. Influencer. Uh, fitness uh, influencer. Calbat, they call them. Serbat. Serbat Cliffs. C E R B A T. Serbat Cliffs Golf Club. And I saw some deals online last night for right around 35 bucks any time of day. And it's not a 25, it's not a $15 deal, but I would rather pay that and be comfortable. It's going to be 103 there today, though, but I'm not going to be in 116. I can tell you that right now. I'm out of here. And I'm not going to sit in here and have to run the air at a low, low temperature. I'll put it up to 80, 82, so it just knocks the uh, heat off and leave. Let's go in there and take a look at my get-ups. Now, you guys know, sorry, I'm sniffling, <laughs> the, the crib, right? You got the crib. Hey, who's that? <laughs> I've got you. Hey, uh, you got to make your bed. before. Yeah, you got us that time when you flashed everybody. <laughs> None of us have forgotten. Thank goodness you had your pants on this time, Tim. Gosh, we're never going to let it go. Okay? It's never going to be let go on. Before you do anything in the morning. That's your first accomplishment of the it's day. one of those things. And this is a wonderful bedroom. I mean, oh. let me zoom out for you guys. It's got another TV. You get the, I don't even use the TV, and I forget about it. How, How cool it would be to lay in here and watch TV? I sit in my little theater chair right here. One and uh, this morning, I was cranking some pop tunes like Justin Bieber and um, these other ones. Uh, uh, oh, God, what's their name? What this man is not a minimalist. I never have. You know what I don't have is a TV in my bedroom. I've never liked having TVs in bedrooms. That's uh, a place to go to sleep. <laughs> so I try. I used to read at night. Um, but I fall asleep so quickly. <laughs> so point anymore. If I want to read, I have to do it early when I wake up now. And I used to stay up all night and read as a kid, but things change as you get older. <sighs> but yeah, I've never been a fan, but this is not minimalist. He's got everything going on. I mean, this, he has never had so much that's his, but it's all alone. He says he has no debt. But it, we all know this is on a loan that he got somewhat fraudulently, allegedly. So it's not, he says it's all paid off. No, you're still paying that EIDL loan. And if you owe that much money, how in the world would you think you would qualify for a mortgage? You're talking, you talk about houses, but how, you know, if you construct the plan, you know, how are you going to achieve it? other than getting somebody else's money. Because you haven't made the money. I doubt you're, you know, I don't know if you're in for an inheritance or anything. <laughs> I'm not talking about Miss Tammy's. <laughs> what are their names? I sent a few songs uh, to Miss T also. She loves that music. Why and it brought back memories. We used to hear those on the cruises. They put you in a good mood. And I had the sound bar here cranking, baby. Cranking. Sound bar. And um, I got the shower and I was, Getting all hopped up with my coffee. Mm. But first thing I did before anything was make my bed. Now, here's my new get-ups. Mm. Um, these are uh, Walmart Ben Hogan uh, shorts. I mean, you pay $50, $60 at golf stores, at PGA uh, Tour uh, stores. I got the black. I got the navy. And I Supposedly, you were, you know, ooming and awing about the stuff at Walmart. It's just you're, you're so – and then you got all the stuff. You wanted to get the stuff from the pro shop. Just showing off to the people in the pro shop. I wasn't even on your dime. <laughs> you are wild, Tim. Mm. It's just, I'm just, you know, I'm watching a, a grown adult, you know, enjoy some financial means for the first time in his life beyond what he was getting a couple hundred bucks. Because you could sling it like that back in the day here in the U.S. Places like Florida, you know. He's probably griping because Florida, you know, at some points, it was not very expensive. Things suddenly, I mean, I don't even want to say, uh, I mean, it would, 
up ridiculously, like in the 2008 housing market. And then it obviously came down. Then prices kind of leveled for a while. Interest rates weren't too wildly low. And then once those rates went down and the housing frenzy started, it was just, it was madness. Because <laughs> obviously, you know, but it's just, you know, sign of the times, Tim. I got this gray. Now, these are not Ben Hogan shirts. These are George's. See, George. And But look, at, I love things that go across the chest. It's very uh, surfer looking style, but yet they're golf. And look at these get-ups. And this is the one I'm wearing. I've got this uh, navy uh, color going on here with Four the khaki outfits. shorts. Four outfits. <laughs> I don't know. We're all, you know, I mean, uh, for uh, many people, you know, off to Walmart. But this is somebody who talks about $450,000 houses. He's got this big old loan that he needs to pay off. He's buying all these clothes. It just doesn't seem like good financial sense to me. <laughs> I mean, why so many outfits? One, two at the most that you can mix and match the shorts and the top so you could get four outfits out of it? You know, this is... Jesus. Pardon, pardon Christ for me calling you. And I'm old school. I like shorts above the knee. I don't like those ones that come way down here like I'm a gangbanger. No, I'm, I'm 65. I like my shorts mm. short. That was tan legs there. language to use. Can you mind the type of language? You talk about positivity and Christian values, and then you talk about people in such terrible ways. <sighs> Got my tan arms. It's exhausting. My, my fugazi. <laughs> I have white sunscreen. Uh, the shower is awesome here, even though I got a great shower house across the street. Uh, look at this huge cabinet I've shown you all before. I gotta clean my mirrors there. Um, it's fantastic. You know, you've seen my porcelain toilet and the pantry. Look at this thing. I mean, haven't you? Is this your way of trying to get you got to be careful with what you write off in your taxes? People think that you can write everything off in, in regards to your YouTube channel as a tax write off. And it doesn't quite work that way. I don't know what you're writing off, but not everything is content. I don't know if you keep showing this camper because of it or you just have nothing else to do. Because why does anyone care to see your folded laundry? <laughs> your fashion haul. Oh. <laughs> so much space. Let me space. get through this. Where was done? <laughs> so much space. Got my ironing board on the back of the door. And I got the fantastic fan. <laughs> That'll suck the air in when I open this event right here. You know what? And I'm um, Why don't you deal with that stinky tank that you talked about at the beginning of this instead of a 41-minute diatribe? I, I can feel the AC right here blowing. I got duct AC. That wolf pup I had, it was, uh, you know, just the one unit right here. It was very noisy. This one's pretty quiet. I got a beautiful refrigerator. And the wolf pup lifestyle was the best ever at the time, too. Gosh, you're just... You're just a... This whole kitchen... Mm. Miss T can come in here and cook it up for us. Got the oven. And, um, you know, it's just a wonderful little place to kick it until Miss T finds the place that she wants to buy. Mm. And she's the kind of girl that says, you know, we don't need something ostentatious. We don't need anything any bigger than, let me turn the phone around. Mm. We don't need anything any bigger than the two of us can be comfortable. She has some prerequisites. She has some definite things that she's going to have that we didn't have in Sarasota. Oh, so this is the plan, is to try to get Miss T out to this part of the country, away from her family. That's very not good as you start to age. I think, you know, where she's at with her family and her loved ones is where she needs to be. I don't know if it's because the family isn't particularly keen on you. <laughs> no idea. But that just seems, it just doesn't seem to make a great deal of good sense to me at this time. Seems like it's for your benefit, Tim, and not for Miss T's. We had one bathroom, one bedroom, 750 square. I don't know. That's what we rented. So we loved it, though. Just... We did. We had a nice pool. We had nice neighbors, Fred and Raffaella. We were there like five years. We paid our rent perfectly. And then the uh, the greedy uh, landlord raised our rent 50%. Anyway, we want... Was this while Miss T was still married to her husband? Because <laughs> her relationship has some question marks, allegedly. At least a bath and a half. You got to have two bathrooms for two people. And Miss Tammy, she don't do showers. I mean, she does. She takes a shower. She wants her tub. 
she loves a bath. So mm -hmm. we got to have a bathtub. We got to have two, ba uh, two uh, bathrooms. And I personally think you're not going to find a one bedroom anyway that's got all of that with two bathrooms. Because you need a second bedroom so you can host, right? Somebody comes over, make it an office, storage room, whatever. That's really the, the key, in my opinion, is to have a little storage room for boxes and stuff of things you don't necessarily use, but you can't throw away. You know, they're just personal items. So we're going to be looking for something like that. And that won't be at the top end of the, you know, scale of cost. Uh, like these homes I show you guys on the golf course. That is nothing. If you guys actually do get a house, I hope she does not put your name anywhere near that paperwork. And I hope you're paying her rent. Because <laughs> it would be her house and you would owe her rent. So I hope you're going to be giving her 500 bucks a month. As way above our purview. Uh, but we don't care. We wouldn't want it if we could afford it. Who wants to pay the electric for something like that? I mean, they're just beautiful to look at, though. And for me, I say people that got the money, I'm not talking about over the top houses like in Florida, but those homes around the golf course and not even the big ones, those beautiful little three twos, three, two and a half, two car garage. Uh, they're so pretty, you know, then, you know, good for you. Um, mm. But anyway, let's get out there today. I might want to do. We've been talking, uh, well, the whole time that his, the whole goal is, is that he and Tammy are getting a house. I hope she blows it and she leaves back to Florida <laughs> just for her sake. Cause he's, you know, he's just can't, he's just can't wait to, you know, oh, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it makes me uncomfortable. You know, if you had a woman out here talking like this, there'd be a lot of stuff to say. And he's already very misogynistic. Crushing it for Christ's video because I got a lot to say. I'm excited. I'm blessed. And I want to thank uh, Mr. J. <laughs> and his wife, Bev, who are my neighbors uh, that are from the villages in Florida mm. for uh, saying hello to me. They're going to be here all week uh, for the golf shirt that he gave me last night as a gift. And Why he's been we watching the channel quite a bit. Uh, we uh, we sat out here and talked last night for about an hour. Yeah. I haven't met his wife yet. He's in a um, an RV as well. And um, he, I guess he saw the videos. <clears throat> he intentionally wanted to be on this row. He talked about the stairs over here and the bathhouse uh, with the showers. So he's a really good listener and, uh, he appreciates what I was saying. And as a lot of people are going to be coming here with the access to the pool that you get with your card right here. Uh, you're not the sales rep for this place. I don't know why you're trying to be. It's just, uh, I guess it's supposed to his travel reviews, but they're terrible. It's just terrible. It doesn't really, I'm sorry. He just doesn't, does a very poor job. Sorry. Right here. You get one of these like a hotel and then here's a business card with a phone number that you can call and tell the bus, the little shuttle bus to pick you up at your space and take you to the South tower or the North tower of the casino across the street or go visit the pool. And then you just pick up a house phone in the casino and you tell the guy, pick me up and take me back to my camp spot. And there you go. So if it's 116 degrees, even though it's just across the street, you don't want to walk out there in that. And that, that uh, shuttle van thing they use, it's ice cold inside. It's amazing. It's one of those beautiful looking, um, I think I showed it to you in a video, um, big uh, shuttle things like they use at the airport. They take you to the hotels and stuff. This cup of coffee I've been drinking my life. You want to get fired up, folks? Mm. They don't kid about it. They don't kid about it. Now, that's not beans. I, I couldn't use my, my grinder, and I did want bean. The only thing they had in Walmart that was bean was Starbucks. I'm not a fan. And it was a huge bag. And I'm like, I don't need all that. <clears throat> so I just have the already ground up. But there was a nice lady that was um, in Walmart yesterday with her husband or boyfriend. And they were talking about it. And I said, what's I'm definitely in for the uh, Tammy, uh, Tim house drama. <laughs> <gasps> this I need to see. This is where the content starts to become vaguely interesting. I mean, he's not doing much, but there's going to be something that's going to have to come up. I mean, we're not far away from it. Darn, it's about the time I start in school. What's that about? I started chatting him up. I said, well, I'm going to get that. And she goes, let's get it together. We'll try it together. So I gave her a card. She Hopefully she uh, has checked out the channel. And um, <laughs> I hope you like your coffee as much as I do. And that you agree that it does have some caffeine in it. So on that note, folks, let's just get out there and crush it. All right. Let me stop sharing. <laughs> 
I always got rid I need to get rid of Tim real fast, you know, obviously. Oh my God, it's over an hour. Okay, let's just end this thing. All right, guys, if you have liked this content, Jesus, it was a long one. I apologize. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I uh, always want to thank my um, channel supporters uh, for all that they do to uh, basically support this uh, crazy adventure that I'm having here on YouTube. I'm a hater. What can I say? But thank you for your support. All right, play it out.